Is the defense as good as I'm starting to think it is? Because I looked at Notre Dame's metrics um, in, in le at least yards per play and a few others, but yards per play stood out to me. They're 17th in the country in yards per play. Mm -hmm. Like I watched that Notre Dame offense pretty much every play the last three weeks, Ohio State, Duke, Louisville, and they don't look that good. <laughs> but it comes out to 17th in the nation in yards per play. Those three teams are good. NC State's okay. And when I, I know NC State's, people are going to jump on that comment. But when you look at the aggregate of that schedule that Notre Dame has played against most teams in the country, they have they probably played the toughest, one of the toughest schedules in the country, no doubt. And they're 17th in yards per play. And Ohio State's, I think, fourth in yards per play against, having played Notre Dame two weeks ago, having played Maryland, who runs up points and yards on everybody else. Western Kentucky does the same thing as well with yards and points. Uh, you know, I think it's been impressive. I, I'll let everybody else talk, but uh, there there are moments when the, the run defense looks a little bit suspect, but yet it, it leads to 17 points from Maryland, and seven of those are on a 30-yard touchdown drive. So, like, whatever they're doing is working, and there's still more to come, but you don't want to – Jim Knowles is – it's interesting watching Jim Knowles talking about how, you know, He's not doing as much blitzing as he wants to or has done in the past, but he's okay with that because he's, it's working and he's coming around on that. But you can't – I mean, you've got to grow each week. You've got to build and add to it each week. And so I'm interested to see how that goes and, and who steps up. We're seeing JT Tuimolo out step up. The linebackers taking a turn for the worse is a surprise to me, but it's also something – Is did it seem – Jim Knowles seems to think they're fine. And again, is this a situation of him not wanting to throw anybody under the bus? Cause he said they're playing well. And I don't know that I would agree with that right now. Yeah. Each, each week we sit there and it's like, well, wait until Ohio state gets to its next opponent. And like, we almost don't want to give them credit for what they've done so far. They go against Western Kentucky and, hold them largely in check, but that's a one dimensional offense that can only throw the ball. So wait till they play Notre Dame and they, they largely shut down Notre Dame's offense, but just, just wait until they go against Talia who may be the best quarterback in the big 10. And well, we've seen Notre Dame struggle to score points in the, in the subsequent weeks after playing Ohio state. Now Ohio state does a pretty good job of keeping Talia uh, shut down. Well, Maryland's not much of a great running team. Wait until they go against Penn state and a dual uh, you know, an offense that's really swinging with both arms, with rushing and passing. And if Ohio State passes that test, I'm sure that we'll, we'll kick the can down the road a little bit further. I mean, I think I'm starting to buy the, into this Ohio State defense. Uh, is, is, it, is it perfect? No, absolutely not. I mean, as Tony said, I mean, there certainly has been a little bit of concern in terms of the run game. But honestly, if you look at just the numbers, only Notre Dame had success running against Ohio State. I mean... Purdue's not going to. I mean, Devin Mockaby's not going to be running all over them. Uh, and people can sit there and say, well, you can go back to 2018. You pro guys were probably saying Wondell Moore wasn't going to do anything. Well, this, this is a different situation. It's an extremely banged up Purdue team. But I think that they're doing a good job. And once one more time to Tony's point is I'm getting close to when I'm going to have to jump out of here. They're not blitzing as much. But Jim Knowles said the threat of the blitz is always there. And I think that that is a good thing that that opposing offenses know that Ohio State does have the ability to blitz really at any given time. And the fact that that hangs over the head and if Ohio State's able to disguise coverage and, and, and sim pressure and do some things like that, uh, that all helps the cause.